I'm not a vampire, not an alien, I'm not the fucking mummy, I'm a goblin. Greetings, Goblin Nation! I'll be ready for a review! A review of a, a 2020 review of a game that's been out 10 years! I think 10 years, I'm not sure, but I think it was 10 years. Are you feeling it? Are you feeling it, Mr. Crab? Sorry, sorry, alright. Are you good? Okay, yeah, yes, perfect. Anyway, we're here to talk about Star Wars The Ultra Problem, a game I've played a lot. And lately I have live streamed it a few times, but there is a but in that. Oh, yeah. Bitch, I'm but! I'm not gonna do that anymore. Uh, I stopped with it. Why did I stop? Which uh, kind of, uh, sure, it was fun. I like the hell of fun. But I, uh, I always come to the conclusion that it's not so fun to watch, you know? Uh, it's fun to do, uh, but then you got, oh, the stream goes down, or the sound goes gone. I was like, no, sound! Come back! Come back, baby! Come back to me! Come back! I need you! <sighs> uh, but then there is not enough people also watching it, so that's also like a kind of thing. I don't, I like live streaming, and at the same time I hate live streaming. It's like, oh my god, this is a kind of... But also, what's so important about it, my, for me, I need to keep talking. I feel like I feel, This is why I like doing reviews. I love, I love the hell out of doing reviews about the channels kind of thing. And that's kind of thing what I do. Now... That's all uh, fun, uh, uh, reviewing uh, stuff, and I'm really exci excited to play more of this game. And the armor, oh my god! This armor, uh, you know, see my dumb snail for the live stream that I did, kind of thing. It looks dope ass, it looks like a goblin should be. Like, this is what a goblin should look like if it's a Mandalorian. I love the hell out of that. Maybe purple could have been better, but still. Really great, really fun! I like the hell out of it. And I'm glad for the people that were there when on live stream. I mean, there was Zeus and there was uh, Improved Gaming. Those two were there. Uh, and there's also somebody that disliked it for some reason. I mean, I get it, you know. It's not 100% and the quality of my freaking live stream was not so good. I was like, why is it not so good? I did my best. I did my greatest best. But we're kind of some kind of got lost on the way. I don't know how to improve that kind of thing. Either way, it didn't go as planned. So, but now the, I have this armor, and yes, there, I play it free to play. But I did buy some credits to buy this fucking armor, and I'm maybe gonna do on a stump point another live stream a little bit for it. Maybe one time more to let you show what the hell I'm coming because I'm not played out. <gasps> I used to play it a lot, and now it's on Steam. Did I mention it's on Steam? Because it's now all on Steam, and it's great to have it on Steam. I'm like, oh, out my head for that, because I finally could stream it. That's why the reason I could start streaming it right now, because I've kind of this was like the dream stream kind of thing, a thing I wanted to stream, but somehow my stream recording kind of thing I was like, nah, you don't want to. It's like I do. Nah, you don't want to. You know, you really don't want to. I cannot stream it. I can never stream it. It was so annoying. So fucking annoying. But, you know, things happen. Anyway, so, the stream kind of uh, thing uh, happened. I could not stream it. I, I'm doing, now I finally could stream it. So I kind of uh, started playing it. And I played like four hours an hour kind of thing. Maybe seven, ten, uh, ten hours so totally. Either way, I played a lot uh, kind of uh, time. Um, and I have so much more to uh, able to do. Uh, but I played the game. I used to play it. Oh, they're not. I like level 50. Okay. The new style the C kind of thing. I played that also. I didn't play it out. But I played enough to know that it's a great kind of uh, uh, stream great kind of game did I stop my playing yeah I kind of stopped my playing because I'm a guy that loves to create my own character and loves to go and begin uh, rebegin stuff I don't know why I just do and you know this time I wanted to for my stream another character another kind of thing that looks really dope and it's dope and he also gets his arm like uh, that's only on level 20 I can have the mount no that's gonna take a kind of day I'm actually almost at 20 but either way uh, it's like this awesome armor, and I love the hell out of that armor. I want to see a Mandalorian with that kind of armor. Uh, the go twisted goblin, man the Mandalorian twisted goblin. The king of all Mandalorians! 
That's like some Mandalore, but whatever. Anyway, so Mandalorians are always been my favorite kind of thing. Yes, yeah, so, sometimes it's the Sith. The Sith are awesome too, like the Dark. But I like not the Rule of Two. The Rule of Two, I'm like, eh, no, I, li I rather like the Mandalore. The Sith of, uh, Empire, that's what I like. Sure, there's some infighting, and sure, the kind of, but there are some people that hold on the rules and kind of thing. It's like this cool, awesome kind of thing. Uh, that some people are stuck on it. There are the pure bloods that are really stuck on. Hey, this is how it should go. We we have the real Sith kind of thing, and you're you're a fallen Jedi. No, no, no. The pure bloods have to be ruled kind of thing. Uh, it's like kind of racism, yeah, kind of thing going on with the pure bloods, and and there is. This amazing storyline, they're amazing kind of thing, the whole story, the side missions are uh, cool as hell. I love doing the side missions, sometimes they're better than others, uh, but you level up kind of thing. And there is also war zone where you, uh, where you fight another team, but those are like, I die very fast. And it's like, why do I die? Why kind of thing? And you only can do 10 times if you do free to play. So, I recommend playing it at least once. Yes, the installation is long fucking time. When I fucking installed this, I had to go to the store. I went to the store, I, I bought some stuff that I needed. And I had also this kind of thing from the Joker. I don't know if you see it here. It can, the Joker on the back. So, yeah. I, I kind of uh, uh, cut this while uh, while the the, t the game was loading and uh, when it was loading, oh, it was all done and happy. Oh, when it was all done, we got, uh, it finally got installed and I could play it. Uh, I live streamed it. I I did a lot of things. I loved I loved live stream. Don't get me wrong, the live stream was cool. Uh, but I it, like I said, didn't talk enough, so I'm not gonna do the live stream anymore. Uh, I'm still gonna maybe do some a normal live stream without gaming kind of thing. Uh, the ones that can do this, the ones that can live stream and keep it on the team. Hats off to you, babe, kind of thing. You guys are really amazing. You can just keep on talking and talking and keep it interesting. Because I'm not one of those guys. And yes, you can edit your, your videos. You can do this. But if I can edit two hours, I'm gonna get bored. And I'm gonna get like oh, tired of it. And that's actually what happened with my gaming channel. I got tired of always having to edit it. I didn't feel like it was good because I was too much silence. I kind of, I had lots of problems with my own kind of thing. That's why I did reviews now! Reviews are so much better. You can talk and talk and talk and keep on talking and talking. It's just like no stop. You only concentrate you on one thing. One little thing! The, the game in Star Wars. What's your topic? You maybe go a little bit off the rails sometimes or something. You can be a little bit off the rails. But that doesn't matter because you're still on that video. You're still going deep in this thing and that's why I do reviews. There, there you got the kind of thing. But Star Wars the Upper Break is like kind of thing, this whole empire, the Jedi versus the Sith kind of thing. After thousands of years in slumber, they're back. At first, Malchus is like you are ally kind of thing and he's cool. I like Malchus, I wish you had more. There are lots of choices, you can make choices, but they don't affect that much. They mostly affect good or bad and here are small things, but it's cool. I like it, I'm not too... Too uh, much bad, like, oh my god, the choices don't matter, but it does! And also, this is like the only game that has lots of voices in it. Like, a lot of voice actor kind of thing, all, all those voice things are a big thing of this game. You never, World of Warcraft doesn't have that. Doesn't have so much as this game has. With voice, uh, uh, voice kind of thing. All those things bring this game so much li to life. It's so much to life! If you never play this game, I suggest you start playing it at least once in your life. If you're a Star Wars fan, you should play it! You should already have tried it out! I don't know why some people are like, Oh no, Star Wars, the Knights of the Old Republic is better. I'm like, No it isn't! I like this game way better than Knights of the Old Republic. I'm like, This is- this my kind of a job. I like this game so much. I like the Old Republic. I like Raven uh, all from the Knights of the Old Republic comes also in it. You have also flashpoints, uh, flashpoints uh, mi missions that are mostly you can do that with groups. Used you still able to do that only with groups, but now you can also do it with. Uh, alone and that's cool because I do lots of the flash points alone it's fucking much easier I love doing those kind of things maybe I will do those flash points on some point like all the flash points uh, if I do another stream kind of thing doing that uh, 
So then I'm gonna do it alone, you know, I can't, I can't do that. <laughs> Either way, I really enjoyed the hell out of uh, the game. The flashpoints has also the missions uh, kind of thing. Your army, you eventually, Margus is like, you know what? The Emperor is dead. Long live the new Emperor. Dark Marcus, the uh, false emperor. You have to come. I wish you could have chosen his side, but you can't. You you have to destroy him, and uh, then when he's destroyed, he later comes back. A good thing because he's like the main fuck. I have a statue of Marcus. Dark Marcus was like my favorite of this whole country. He's even on my top three of all favorite Star Wars characters of all time. First is the Mandalorian. Um, then another one that I forgot the name of. I think Dark Vader, but I'm not. No, I think there is another. I think Dark Vader came after Dark Marcus, but whatever. So Dark Marcus third uh, on my favorite list. You know, uh, it's really cool. It's really badass. He has like this Dark Vader look, moment the Emperor kind of make. He's like better than anything. He has this badass look. He is, uh, has this kind of thing, and he eventually comes back. And then you team up with them again, or you can go against him. Uh, but I like to go team up with him so long as I could because you know it still it still has the storyline that tries to tell. I don't know why. It's like, hey, you're already uh, not canon anymore. You're not canon. You can do whatever you want. And I'm glad they can do whatever. They I'm glad they can keep on going. I'm glad they're still going. Stronger than ever. I love it. I don't care, but I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, what do I love this game? Uh, so yeah, it's the whole story. The Emperor also comes back in the Eternal Throne kind of thing. First, he disappears. Like everybody's like, oh my god, it is a ah! Then he comes back. But you also can draw some classes like Bounty Hunter, Mercenary kind of thing. Uh, there are two subclasses of those kind of thing. Mercenary, Sith, uh, Sith Inquisitor, Sith Inquisitor, Sith Warrior. Um, there is Jedi, uh, Gender uh, uh, Council. I don't do lots of light sides kind of thing, but there is also the smuggler. The smuggler was one of the things I did want to do a lot. The Jedi, uh, Knight and Jedi kind of thing, they all have their own skills. They all have to, and you can create, of course, your own character. But all of them have so much their own skills. I like the Sith more, but that's just my opinion. You know? I like that. Uh, I feel like the armors of the Sith, uh, everything at the Empire side is way cooler. That's why I actually know inside and out the, the Empire stuff. I don't know the Jedi kind. I think uh, on some point the Jedi actually tried to kill, uh, killed in, uh, the Emperor, uh, kind of thing. And then he comes back. Somehow he comes back uh, in the internal kind of thing with his sons. But then, like from, from uh, every point to level fifty, every character has their own story, it's their own thing to tell. No, everybody has their own story to tell. Except when you're on level 14, 15, and uh, the Eternal Thrones uh, uh, um, ish, big, uh, big story starts happening. Everything starts colliding with each other. Everything is like, everything has, first, you have all your own stories. The Smuggler has his own story. The, the Bounty Hunter has this, the Sith, the Jedi, the... Uh, what was there? No, there were more characters than that. There's, uh, I think, Smuggler... Jedi kind of thing, there was no uh, bounty under agents, like an e agent, an empire agent kind of thing. Oh, uh, a trooper, like, oh, I have all those stories, but then the eternal throne comes when the story starts just going in one direction. Like, literally one direction. Not every direction kind of thing, like the boss bit for that. I wish they did more like that. You still have choices and still have, can do it kind of thing. You have your own empire that you're building on. Uh, you can never call yourself an emperor for some reason, I don't know why. I feel like that should be the end goal, like, able to either let it go or being the next emperor. I feel like you should have been able to do that. You're a leader, but you're not an emperor. Kind of it's very cool, uh, even though I think the story kind of lacks after level 15 because it's all the same. It doesn't matter what choice you make with, uh, from ca class characters. They all combine into one direction after that. 
But before that, it's really dope to able to play every character. They all have their own stories. They all have their kind of thing. Sure, the side missions are still the same. The side missions stay a little bit the same. They they call you the bounty hunter instead of Sid. They call you kind of There are small things that will change, but for the rest, the side missions are pretty much the same. Come, uh, uh, I just enjoy the hell out of it. I really enjoy the. Uh, I still enjoy it. I it's like one of those games that I play a lot of yes this must you could do a subscription that gives you more mobility more things to do able to do that you're like oh my god i uh, finally can do this kind of thing and that's cool but you also can play it for free till level 50 even the eternal throne you can actually do for uh, free so it's lots of to do that you can do for free uh, i would very much recommend even after all this year i give it an, uh, a legendary 10 uh, I feel like yes, it's maybe a little lagging after level 50. I feel like it's cool story. Don't get me wrong. It's an amazing, crazy, awesome story. Oh, the joy of the story that it is. They're trying to throw in the air kind of thing. All those stories are really perfect, nice, like really just cool. If you like Star Wars, you're gonna love. Love uh, playing this class in this world, thousands to thousands of years before before the Battle of Endor kind of thing. So much before the Phantom Man, as all those there before. You have so much character. You have other species. You can sure the character creation didn't move up to the list. It's mostly the same as it's always been. Uh, but it's very cool. It's a very enjoyable story. Uh, I'm and I, I kept money on it like cartel coin. Sure, you can have skins. I mean, I mean uh, armor that you can buy in a cartel kind of thing. That's it's kind of fun. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of fun having those armor. And better, I feel like sure Fortnite has really good skins sometimes and really kind of thing. But I kind of get bored of that Fortnite. And here they have kind of a purpose and they look doper. And I feel like so I wish, wish I spent more money on this game than on Fortnite. I wish I did that. Like a season pass, here is the membership kind of thing. So it's very much like you could do membership, but you don't need to. But you could, but you don't need to. There is a lot of more. You have also your own fort kind of thing. Does and I don't feel much about that. I feel like. Yeah, that, that should. I don't feel like that should be in it, but it is. Uh, I feel like you could have done something else with that, but you know, or own fort for some reason. And I feel uh, there's eight players kind of moves things. You're there's so much to do in this game. Flashpoints. If you want a game that you really can lose yourself into, this is a game for you. If you want to go just go a little bit, a little bit into it. And here and there play it. Yes! Still the game for you! Like, it's simple, it's all fun. Uh, you, can, you can have so much fun in this game. Uh, the missions uh, is easy to find most of the time. And the flashpoints is also good. Of course, the flashpoints you need a little bit more time. An hour a kind of time. The rest you can go hop on and uh, you're doing half of your mission and go off. The flashpoints are like a whole mission, so if you go uh, off that thing, you have to do it all over again. So there it is, kind of. And how uh, how long, uh, how higher level you are, the flashpoints will also be longer. So you kind of the first one is like uh, if you don't do the dialogue, if you all skip the dialogue, it's kind of an hour long, kind of thing. Uh, if you do wet dialogue, an hour and a half, like all the dialogue, you listen to everything they say. Kind of thing. Uh, I I played the flashpoints a lot of times, like really a lot. I always love that because it's easier to level up with that kind of thing. Anyway, and Marcus is my favorite. So this one is a legendary plus kind of thing. I would not say Omega. I could say Omega level. I could guess it be like, hey, this is Omega level. But I don't play it so as much as I used to. And now I'm playing it again because it's still Steam. I st uh, streamed it because. I can we could finally stream it. So I was like, hey, let's let's just go with it. Just to go with the flow, you know? Let's go with the flow! And I like the flow! The flow of this game is cool and everything. But I played so much of it, I like 50, I have like 5, 17, 
20 characters that were level 50 when it came out kind of thing. I played a lot of it in the beginning. I still play, uh, uh, it's been a while since I played it now. I think I had to, like one kind of setting before this I played it. Now I'm playing it again. And my guess is I'm gonna play it till my vacation is out. Till my vacation is done. And over here! I know we don't have a vacation anymore. Then my vacation needs to go work again. And then I will start playing this game way way less uh, and then it eventually will end up being on the back burner again I guess I'm guessing because right now I'm so much into this game I so wanna play the hell out of it and I'm gonna play the hell out of it for sure <laughs> anyway hope you enjoyed this uh, review on legendary 10 for this one uh, let me know what your thoughts about that. Let me know. You gonna play this game now? You gonna play it? It's on Steam for free. It's finally on Steam for free. I wish you luck if you do, and if you ever wanna play with me, no matter if I I already stop play, I come back for you. I will come back for my Goblin Nation. So I would love to play this with somebody else, kind of thing. Seems like cool. I'm trying to get my girlfriends into games. She loves Borderlands, but that's like the only game that she she likes. And yes, I'm not the most uh, hardcore kind of thing, but I just want to play some games with somebody else. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this uh, uh, review of uh, Star Wars The Old Republic 2020 edition. I guess. I know. Anyway, also hope you like this jacket, even though it has a little bit more color than I'm used to. Looks good on me. Look, but the hat, but the uh, uh, thing from the Joker gun, everything, and this this kind of uh, a hoodie that I, I got on it, but uh, blue kind of thing. I think it's a little bit more colorful than I'm used to, but it works. And if it works, it works, you know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this better than my, my live streams, but I hope to, for most of all the time, mostly. I hope to see you all, your darkness, your okay, kind of, uh, what do I want to say? I want to see the whole Goblin Nation in my next one. This was the Twisted Goblin for your Dark Side reviews. I mean, Star Wars Ultra Public Review. Bye bye! Then the days got worse and worse and now you see I've gone completely out of my mind.